Hey everybody, this is Nick with Frost CNC. And today we're gonna to do a fully parametric mitered face frame in Mosaic software. We're gonna show you how to uh, miter all the corners here and make it fully parametric. So we got a quick one today, let's do it. All right, so before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel by pressing subscribe right below this video. Uh, we've got a bunch of stuff still planned, so make sure you're following along. So uh, I've got a very uh, standard uh, wall pair door cabinet straight from uh, my face frame library. Uh, I went to the face tab here and I uh, went from pair door down to open, make it open. And now what I'd like to do is miter the, the frame together. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to modify the top rail and the bottom rail so that they're the right uh, length, which is actually the full width of the cabinet, so I can miter them together. So I'm going to find top rail. I'm going to press edit. And I want to change the length. So the length of that piece really should be the full width of the, the cabinet. So I'm going to change that to W. And you can see it extended off here. Uh, and so we're actually going to move the position back over to, to zero in the X direction. So I'll press uh, left or uh, part 3D position and we'll change left, right over to zero. And now you can see they, they fully overlap there. And so we're going to go ahead and, and miter these together in a second. But let's go ahead and do that with the, uh, the bottom rail as well. We'll press edit. I'm going to edit the length to the full width of the cabinet. And I'm going to change the part 3D position over to zero. There we go. All right, so we got our frame parts uh, ready to miter together. I'm going to go ahead and start with the left style here. And so I just want to put a miter uh, on each of these uh, corners. So we're going to go to edit. I'm going to edit the shape of that cabinet there. And right here, we're gonna go ahead and pull this corner in. And what I wanna do actually is I wanna bring that in by the uh, width of the bottom rail. And so in the X direction here, I can just simply type cab BR or cab bottom rail. There we go. And on the top point here, I'm gonna go ahead and type part L minus the cab's top rail, cab TR. And there we go. And again, we're doing this fully parametrically. So really you'll be able to stretch this cabinet too when we're done. Go ahead and press okay. And there we go, there it is. There's our first part. So I'm gonna go through and simply do all of our, our frame parts this way. We'll go to the right style. We'll go ahead and press edit, edit shape. And up here on this point, we'll go ahead and do cab bottom rail. And right here, We'll go ahead and do part L minus cab top rail. There we go. Our right style is now mitered. Let's go find our bottom rail. We'll edit the shape there. Click on this top point. Now this one is gonna be cab left style. We need to move over by the width of the left style. And now we will go to part L here, minus cab right style. And there we go. Mitered bottom rail. We're gonna go ahead and go to the top rail and we'll do the same thing. We'll pick this point here, cab left style. And Part L minus cab right style. There we go. Full on mitered face frame. And we can show it's fully parametric. So we can change the width of the cabinet. There we go. We could change the height of the cabinet. And our frame stays mitered together. There we go. Pretty cool trick. We'll see you on the next video.